This morning, a failed Republican candidate in New Mexico, now under arrest and accused of directing a series of drive-by shootings targeting the homes of Democratic lawmakers. Albuquerque police describe Solomon Pena as the mastermind behind the attacks, targeting four different Democratic officials. Pena accused of hiring four other men to help carry out the shootings, allegedly paying someone in cash for at least two. But in one case, police accuse Pena of joining the attackers at the home of State Senator Linda Lopez, who says a bullet passed through her 10-year-old daughter's bedroom. On the last shooting, we now have evidence, too, that Pena himself went on this shooting and actually pulled the trigger on at least one of the firearms that was used. Officials say Pena was angry over his defeat in a state legislature race in November. Pena lost in a landslide a day after, tweeting, I dissent. I am the MAGA king. At the end of the day, this was about a right-wing radical, an election denier who was arrested today, and someone who did the worst imaginable thing you can do when you have a political disagreement, which is turn that to violence. That should never be the case. Differences of fundamentals in democracy are going to happen. No one was injured in this series of shootings, but Homeland Security officials continue to warn against the rise in political violence in this country, including threats against election workers and even that attack on former Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband. Jay O'Brien, ABC News, Washington.